here, um, politics and history student. I'm also a class rep for both of those positions. And um, basically, the reason I'm running for this position is because um, in this period of the cuts and stuff, the courses, I personally know what it's like to be in a department and it's social sciences, where I don't actually know like, the future in my course. I was in sociology originally, but basically management like, cut that and they, they, co they conglomerated all the subjects and the social policy. Now the future that's uncertain. So my, the position of education in a period of this basically is to defend the education of students. It isn't just like oh, anti-cuts and stuff like that, it's not just that, we have to deal with student stress. The Strathclyde is one of the only universities where like, there's a lot of exam function, right? Like, what, there should be a period of at least six days between each exam. Not only that, like, the library should be moved to the maybe 24 hours. But these are like, policies which can be easily implemented. I believe they're going to completely radicalise and strengthen the role of class reps. Um, the thing is, I could promise like, to radicalise and strengthen the role of class reps. Right? What I mean by that is, I think there should be organised a congress of class reps of three times per year in which my position of VP education should be um, should be put to a vote of confidence for class reps. If I don't achieve 50% vote of confidence, I think my position should be reopened for nomination again, which that, that will basically mean that if I don't fulfil my promises, um, I've got that basically that means I've got a direct incentive to fulfil my promises. Because I know a lot of class reps and a lot of subjects, a lot of architect students are annoyed, a lot of engineering students are annoyed. This isn't just a thing to do with social sciences, it's generalised and it's all subject. Um, so, <coughs> so basically it would be, uh, I give me an incentive to actually, to actually um, fulfil um, my pledges and promises. I think um, training for class reps also has to be expanded. I think that class reps need access to the fiscal aspects of the degree, not just the academics. So what I would like um, in class rep meetings is, um, for instance, it would be the class rep and it would be the management and the academic stuff because that class rep has to go back to the students and say this is what your tutors think but this is also what blah 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 the financial scope of your degree because like, you have to represent both spheres of actually <coughs> of the students degree I think um, um, I think that the, that the student union in general has to be um, much more campaign orientated and facilitate um, students interest better a couple, there's, there's two instances of this, right? Recently, um, there was a room that went around the architecture department, architecture department, and it was basically that um, all their tutors were going to be um, fired, basically, and, and it would be just self-teaching and supervised study, basically. What they did was like, they organised the department and they basically uh, did a referendum and they said they're going to boycott this management meeting. The student union didn't actually take part in that. Like, that, has to, that has to be completely changed. Like, whenever something like this happens, it's direct, constant, Constant supervision of what's actually happening. You involve yourself continuously. I think um, the other the other thing I was talking about is sociology. A number of like, uh, a number of sociology students are getting increasingly increasingly worried because you can't actually take sociology in this university anymore. Although it's got a very very big sociology department in this university, that basically means a lot of students from Strathclyde University will graduate and they'll they'll, they'll go to an employer and they'll be like, oh, you've got sociology, you're very good, you've got a first. Oh wait, it doesn't actually exist on the register anymore. Your degree is useless. Like I mean, in, in the current state of like um, like mass um, graduate unemployment, most graduates, most of us will basically be working in like call centres and things like this. Like I mean, in, in that kind of atmosphere, that's just unacceptable, basically. Um, another thing, um, what people people in the past have promised to do numerous things, right? Like twenty-four hour library, right? And it's just for me personally, I've been quite disappointed. I think six months after I've been elected. I'll organise personally a policy review like this, where I'll basically stand in front of groups of people and you'll say, why don't you do this, this and this? And I'll just be like, well, you know, I'll just then. Like, I won't actually, I won't actually do that. that that's, that's what I'll say if I don't actually do it. Of course, it gives me, as I was saying, it gives me a direct incentive to actually do what I pledge. That's what I'm talking about. More like pressure on the union exec from below. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think we should have more means like this where we actually scrutinise union policy. I also think we should put in place democracy forums where like, ordinary students with class reps criticise the actual exec. Not criticise in a, in, a, in a negative sense, criticise and also formulate policy alongside the exec, kind of facilitating, facilitating wider involvement with the student body. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just wrap it up there. Thanks very much. Hello all, I am Rebecca and I am currently your Vice President of Education and Representation and I want you to re-elect me and I will tell you why. This year I have had so much fun and I have worked hard to make sure that what you want in your education is what you get. 
So what have I done to make this happen? Let me tell you some of the hashtag wins I have achieved for you. This year, I managed to get the business school to implement an early warning system which lets students know if they have the grades to get into honours or not. I put pressure on the university to have a release date for all exam marks. This means no constantly checking tests every five minutes to see if all your marks are back yet. This date will be implemented this term. I launched the I Want Feedback <coughs> sticker campaign in which the university supported. You told me you wanted exam feedback, so I put pressure on departments to make this happen. This year, we have almost 800 class reps and some excellent faculty reps. I held the most successful student congress the uni has ever seen. Over 160 class reps attended. In, in regards to postgraduates, I will be holding the first ever postgraduate festival for both taught and research students. This will be a week full of fun-filled events to help create a Strathclyde postgrad community. I have worked closely with the unit in regards to the single campus project to make sure that the move is as smooth as possible for students. I have kept students up to date, creating a Facebook page and an FAQ on the website. I am also planning a series of events to welcome Jordan Hill students to the main campus. And let's not forget the James Weir fire. No, I didn't set the, fi uh, I didn't set the fire. However, I was the one that made sure that you got a text to know about the closing of the building. This means that you will get a text from now on to, uh, if the uni closes due to wind, snow or fire. So this is just a few things that I have done this year. But what about next year? I will make sure that the uni has a policy to ensure no exam bunching, whether that be two exams in one day or five exams in one week. How can students perform at their best if they have to do so many exams in a short period of time? Also, some students, no matter how hard they try, just can't do exams. I want departments to offer assessment alternatives instead of exams. And in regards to assignments, why is it a common culture in this uni to make students submit both a paper and electronic copies of their assignments? I will pressure the uni into electronic submission of assignments only. This means more convenience for students, more money in their pockets, plus it's good for the environment. Class reps are amazing, fact. I will offer more support to them so that they can influence changes in their departments. I will hold more amazing events such as Congress to keep them engaged and up to date with what is happening, but also to influence the work that I do. They are the voice of the students, so I will make sure that they have the best support available to them. Furthermore, I am in talks with Higher Education Academy, Sparks, QA and NUS Scotland to create a national student rep conference. This will be for class reps so that they can find out what is happening in other institutions as well as network with other reps and learn how they can develop their skills. Alongside this, I want class reps to be recognised and rewarded officially by the uni. This means recognition of all volunteering, not just class reps on their transcripts. This will show the employers how much Strathclyde values its volunteers. Everyone sees postgraduate researchers as the least easy to engage. However, this year I have worked hard to understand what their needs are. This is why I have organised a postgrad festival. But there is still so much to do. I want to make sure that postgraduates are represented in USA and in the uni as students. All the things that I have just talked about, postgraduates, class reps, exams are only a few things that I want to do next year. This year I have proven that I have students at the heart and that I am willing to work hard for them. So please re-elect me as your Vice President of Education and I will continue to make education quality. Thank you.